Sweet Baby Inc. For the last couple months, there's been a lot of talk about them. Uh, whether you see, you know, websites that are reporting on it, individuals that are reporting on it, say, hey, this this company seems to be involved with a lot of big gaming failures, or at least with a lot of games that people perceive as why is their identity politics shoved into this? I wasn't expecting this in this game. What's going on with this franchise? Sweet Baby Inc. seemed to be linked to a lot of it. They're a consulting company that literally their job is to come up and wokeify games, yeah. to tell stories from this perspective, to make sure you have a black trans lesbian's perspective who's in a wheelchair about this or that. Like, that's actually what Sweet Baby Inc. does. And over the last couple months, we've seen them involved with a lot of things. Uh, let me share my screen, and I'll even show you right here what we're talking about. Alan Wake, God of War Ragnarok, um, Spider-Man 2, the Suicide Squad. And of course, it was the Suicide Squad that kills the yeah. Justice League that really had people up in arms. This is a massive catastrophic failure. We saw what they did to some of these characters, including to Batman. People were not happy about it. And the game is already basically, Warner Brothers admitted it's a complete and total failure. But this was the thing that really pushed a lot of people over the edge when it came to Sweet Baby Inc. And apparently... They're not very happy about it because employees are now lashing out. Employees are upset that people are calling them out, that people are calling out Sweet Baby Inc. for what they are. And it all resulted in a pretty hilarious weekend where they got completely owned. Throws Sweet Baby Inc. staff throws tantrum after Steam Curator List created to track and warn players against their work. And uh, a couple employees were very upset, and they demanded that this Steam Curator page be removed. To put it in perspective, this is what we're talking about. Sweet yeah. Baby Inc. Detected. It's a Steam group, and when you go to the curator, it's now at 123,000 followers. That's awesome, man. It's one of the most followed curators now on Steam. So basically, what that is, if you want to play a game, this will tell you that Sweet Baby Inc. was a part of this game. So basically, people are 100,000 people are like, I'm done with this woke crap. If they've touched this game, I probably am not, I'm not going to play it. Is this what is this, that kind of what we're talking about here? Kind of what we're talking about. We're talking about a Steam page that was made, and the person who made it was like, hey, we're just going to take the things that they say they're involved in, and we're going to warn people so yeah. that you know if you're going to buy a game that these are the types of things that you can find. It says Creed Valhalla is in there. Gotham Knights is in there as well. Um, a lot of shit. A lot of shit. And apparently, the employees are not happy. The Steam Creator Harassment Group, Sweet, Sweet Baby Inc. Detected, is led by this person. He's or here's them trying to be slick so they don't get reported. Even without discriminatory language, the group itself still falls into the code of conduct or fails in the code of conduct. This is by Chris Kindred, who is an employee of Sweet Baby Inc. Anyway, report the fuck out of this group and report the creator since he loves the account so much. Try not only to get the group banned off Steam, but also to get the individual banned off Steam. Wow. That's what you're seeing the employees try to do. And he wasn't the only one. You got this person, Lego Butts. For example, <laughs> Steam, Steam doesn't have guidelines for creators that would prevent someone from starting a curation group that focuses on, say, Sweet Baby Inc. and warns people to not buy games they're associated with, which could just list any game at all. And again, they got community noted because this person works for Sweet Baby Inc. Um, this is a person who's constantly bitching about how people are just rejecting these modern games because they're the real racists out there and they think it's okay to be racist. Grums was on top of this from the beginning, exposing that this person is a canceled pig and this person used to work with Zoe Quinn and try to cancel people. This is a fucking nightmare, but this is uh, Sweet Baby Inc. They're the ones that are advertising things they're involved in and they have a problem with other people calling them out. Lego butts. People are tired of this crap, man. They're tired of these people coming in here and destroying games that they want to play and love. And now they're, I, I don't get why they're so upset. Like you said, they advertise the games on their own website. Like, what's the difference? It's unbelievable. These crybaby activists that try to get their hands on everything that they can. How do you, Ryan, how do we start a consulting company where everyone hires us, where we can look at their games and go, yeah, that checks out. No, that doesn't. How does that even work? Like, that's what I don't understand. Like, why, yeah, they, why, they why would you company, even go to them? They are a company. That, what I think, they're a company that these other developers hire to make sure their game fits within DEI shit. Right. They bring them in to be like, hey, well, you know, you really shouldn't have this white man talk to this black woman like that. You should really make sure the conversation revolves around this or that or whatever. 
or make sure to put this person in a wheelchair. You don't have any handicap representation or make sure that this person, you know, respects pronouns. That's the kind of type of bullshit we're seeing shoved into all these different games. And like, that's what Sweet Baby Inc. has been doing for the past several years. And finally, it's their own fault, right? Yeah. People are connecting them to Suicide Squad. We've heard it thrown around. We've even talked about them a little bit here on this show before. But until their employees decided to go try to censor and take down other people, it didn't become as big as it is now. Now, in just a couple of days, what was it? 9,000 followers is now up to 125,000 followers. So that is the Streisand effect that we've seen in yeah. full action. And uh, it's going to continue to get worse for them. Call these people out, man. We are tired of this crap. I salute you, man. 